the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends, you have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of our wife and Joseph and to rejoice with them. Marriage is a gift of God and a means of His grace in which man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that, as husband and wife, give themselves to each other in love. They shall grow together and united in their love, as Christ is united with His church. The union of man and woman in heart, body and mind, that they may know each other with delight and tenderness in acts of love. In marriage, husband and wife give themselves to each other to care for each other in good times and in bad. They are linked to each other's family and they begin a new life together in the community. It is a way of life that all should be reverent and none should be lightly undertaken. If any one person knows a reason, a reason why Joseph and her wife did not love to marry, they must be clear it now. And why? And you said, if either of you know a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. We know. 
I will help him. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you, the gospel of Christ. The rest can sit, but my friends here will stand. And my friends can look at me at this time.
they don't know what to do at that moment. That when we say love, then it comes to the day. It's not about emotions. It's about knowing your choice is right. Knowing you are here to be clear to us that you are committed to one another in love, in bad commitment. But when you have that covenant, it's a covenant between you, two of you. And it's a covenant that can be extended to your own families. That covenant of love will not be changed. And people who reflect on it, they keep loving one another to death. But those who come here to show all the people that they are wedded and they are couples, and the life comes to their own challenges, and they are being challenged by life themselves with the problems, they will create misunderstanding and complications with tough. My friends are telling you, when you want your mind to last long, we can refresh our own thoughts today by going back to the first Corinthians chapter 13. That say the whole idea that I want you to know if you want to last long or last marriage, you have or you must have willingness to seek forgiveness and to forgive. That word forgiveness and forgive it is easy to say. And it is easy for you to nod in your head at this time. But when you are left alone with your own burdens as couples, things will not be the same. My friends, I invite you to know the love of God has forgiveness in it. The love of God need you to be ready to forgive. And if you do that, there will be no records of all. But when you start a life in three years from now, you will be having a record of saying, Joseph has done this to me and this to me and you write them in your own book. Yeah. Yeah. Every single day, you are forgiven yesterday and you need the same today. And you keep recording those stuff. Those tally, those records, I'm telling my friend, will not help you, but the love of God will help you. Joseph, it's not just a simple day, it is a significant day for all of us to celebrate. Life has fullness of, of deeds and problems and challenges and suffering, but you have chosen to face it. You have made a decision to love her. Love means forgiveness. Love means you. <coughs> Sacrifice yourself for her. And the same thing to her to you. And if it will you, communication will be good or be bad. But remember, forgiveness and you need to forgive. Second love. But it comes with a commitment. It comes with a lot of challenges. But you have to sacrifice yourself. What does that mean to all of us and to you? It means that you set the other person free by absorbing pain into yourself that should right be theirs. And if you keep that in mind, there will be nothing nothing will separate you. There will be nothing that will be talking about you in the future. The healthy model for the mother is unconditional love. Love is just right for long. That's what I'm going to say. You want our spouse to change everything because we are only human beings. But you know what? When you were living with your parents and you were with your parents, Life is not the same when you come together. There will be a lot of differences. Maybe or maybe not. 
You have seen your parents at one day change their face. They don't have your own themselves, they do themselves. And you wonder what you are sharing. What's going on here? That's life. And you have chosen to enter into that state. It's not about that friend comes in, that friend comes in and supports you and then go. You have a task. The task of building their love. And love as you have met already. Love as you have already know. Come with some right path. We all assign love to so much time. Love is always patient. No envy. No boss, no kind of husband. All these bad stuff are not in the love. But you have chosen to come today to celebrate their love. I am assuring you, my friend, the best love is the kind that awakens the soul and makes us wait for more. That plants a fire in our hearts. That's the kind of peace we want. When the love doesn't turn on the lights of love and in your own soul, then you will go through it in the hardship. My friends, I will end this by saying a quote from American psychologist who says, Love is not just a spiritual communion. It's not just that. It is also remembering to take out the trash or garbage outside. That means it comes with some challenges and commitment to have one another. I know we came when we say women do all the things in the house. But that's not what it is here. I understand my dog you don't know how to cook. Love. There are times when other people come to you telling you about your love that happened. All the bad stuff. It is up to you when you have the love of God to reflect on that and see and tell the truth about yourself or anything in yourself. Love. It's not just showing up, but love should be unconditional. You can't put some condition for the love to be implemented. Love comes from our hearts. And if any challenges of life comes in your way, you stand firm. You know your vows. Amen. We can stand for one thing and then we continue with our services. You stand up, please.
to love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others to be faithful to her, so long as you go shall live. Amen. And why? Will you give yourself to Joseph to be his wife, to love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, to be faithful to him so long as you both shall live. Families of Joseph and families of Arwai, do you, members of families of Arwai and Joseph, give your blessing to this marriage? We do.
ROI. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you in the name of God. Joseph, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow with all that I am and all that I have. I honor you in the name of God. Let us pray. Arway and Joseph have joined themselves to each other by solemn vows, signified by the joinings of hands and the giving and receiving of a ring. I declare that they are a husband and wife in the names of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen.
Another music. Pray. Most gracious God, 
We give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come among us, to be born of a human mother, and to make it the way of cross to be the way of life. We thank you also for consecrating the union of man and woman in his name. By the power of your Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing upon this man and this woman. Depend them from every enemy and lead them into all peace. Let their love for one for each other be a seal upon their hearts and a mantle about their shoulders and a crown upon their forehead. Bless them in their way. And in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to the table where your sins feast forever in your heavenly God or heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favor look upon you and fill you with all his spiritual benedictions and grace that you may faithfully live together in this life and in the age to come have life everlasting. Amen. <laughs> the peace of the Lord be always with you. It's now your moment. And it's now a moment to see. So they are declared husband and wife. the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always.